Welcome to the shortwave radio channel. So, uh, playing around with the uh, Deep SDR 101. Um, it's plugged into my MLE30 loop right now through this uh, cable here. So, I need to learn a few things and check a few things here with the display and what uh, what's the uh, what are the different uh, options I have to tweak this. Um, so I'm here is WWV and 25 megahertz from uh, Fort Collins, Colorado. And of course, we can try uh, a couple of more signals. Let's see if we can get other stuff here. Um, Let's go here and let's try stations that I know are going to be there. Um, I think there's radio 9855. This is Radio Japan. Not very strong, but I know that propagation isn't that great today. We have. Uh, Five fifteen dot seven seven, which is WRMI. John, the math is never understood. I don't think what his ministry was. He just knew that. So this seems to work. This is what I'm destined to do. And of course, I can go here, and, I'm in that and you can try to tune around signals that are around the bands if anything's there. Very weird the way that it sometimes works and reacts. I know that uh, when I put the AGC on with the MLA-30 it seems to overload terribly. I have to play with the IF gain here and stuff like that. I'm going to have to check that out. Of course, have the colors of the waterfall get better also there's different things you can do in here probably so this gives me information about this device so it's going to be to change the uh, reference and see what we can do with this let's uh, try to 15 megahertz yeah, that works there's a few things it can do. Let's see if we go to 27385. So there's something here. There's something here that seems to be uh, in sideband, so let's change mode. There we go. Interesting, there was something there. And it could have been 10 kilohertz almost above or below. I have to see what uh, what it brings. So I haven't uh, yet mastered a lot of the options here. Of course, you can tune. Let's put it to the uh, precise here and bring this back. It's usually twenty-seven, three, eight, five, and this. Go and like throw up a wire somewhere, and I and I do that sometimes. I go up and throw a wire up for eighty and and forty and twenty BS, you know. So there's something on twenty seven three ninety. You know what? I'm, I, it, it, I it's really not a bad here. little lamp. I had the guy that does all my work. He buys it for me and put a band switch in there so I can actually work on eighty and forty with it. Now, once you buy us 
it and you uh, and you tune it, you put a tune for 80 and 40 into it, it's not any good on 11 meters that much anymore. It loses its power. But its power increases up there really nice on 80 and 40. So let's see, because I want to check out with an actual radio if we are tuned to the proper frequency but there's definitely some single sideband here let's try 27 390 I'm gonna have to use the other got our cables here it's kind of interesting to, uh, to test this out so on my Yep, and on the uh, text, and it is on the frequency. So this is correct frequency. They're really not, unless you go in there and tune it, they're not, they're not really good for 10 meters. So this is an interesting device playing around with. So, of course, I'll be making more videos as uh, I uh, master the use of... Get used to the different options also of this radio. Um, how to, ma you know, get into the main different... Uh, menus and options and uh, tweak it to try to get the best performance out of it but uh, having fun for now and I think that's the important thing so more videos coming up and of course we'll have videos to see how it actually works when you use a telescopic antenna on it that could be a very different story if you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.